We're going to be talking about nuclear energy and uh, the kinds of things that could happen with an atomic emergency. And uh, we do this not to worry you, but, uh, or frighten you, but really, we've got to admit we live in an atomic age. There is an atomic bomb. So we have to be aware of this and know what to do in case an emergency happens. If there will be a need to spend two weeks in a fallout shelter, we have packed our survival kit. For the food supply, pack variety of fruits, soups, evaporated milk, vegetables, napkins. The purpose of our demonstration today is to show you the actual preparation of one of the meals which was prepared in a modern day cave. One new meal consisted of the following food. Canned chicken, peas, Irish potatoes, tomato juice, on the defenses against fallout. And if you're caught outside during a, a nuclear explosion, decontamination may be necessary. You may have to burn or bury all your clothes and food, and afterwards, you should wash thoroughly. John, uh, let me interrupt you here just a moment. I have some film here that I think will describe what might happen, oh, good. and we'll describe a little about the atom. So, Joey, why don't you catch the lights, and we'll try it, OK? Good. like Bert the Turtle, so we have to cover up in our own way. Paul and Patty know this. No matter where they go or what they do, they always try to remember what to do if the atom bomb explodes right then. It's a bomb, duck and cover. Here's Tony going to his Cub Scout meeting. Tony knows the bomb can explode any time of the year, day or night. Duck and cover. a boy, Tony, that flash means act fast. Sundays, holidays, vacation time, we must be ready every day, all the time, to do the right thing if the atomic bomb explodes. Duck and cover. and cover. That's the first thing to do. Duck and cover. First, you duck. And then, you cover. You duck and cover tight. Duck and cover under the table. It's a bomb. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Duck and, and cover. Duck, duck and cover. And cover. Duck and cover duck. yourself. Duck and, and cover. cover. Duck and cover. Duck, duck and, and cover. cover. He did what we all must learn to do. You and 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 cover. Remember what to do, friends. Now tell me right out loud. What are you supposed to do when you see the flash? Question. Uh, yes? How far do you have to be from the blast to live through it? Well, let's take a 20 megaton surface burst. You would have a good chance of surviving if you were more than 12 miles from the point of detonation. A bomb equivalent to 20 million tons of TNT would cause an intense fire called a firestorm in an area of about 2,000 square miles around the center of the blast. And in such an area, it would be futile, desperately futile, to construct what are called fallout shelters. This man, like thousands of others around the country, is suffering from a dread disease called nuclearosis. The symptoms? 
nuclear blindness. All he can see is a mushroom cloud. He is blinded from the fear of it, deaf from the sound of it. Uh, there is a short circuit in his brain. He can only think of the awfulness of the nuclear bomb. We ought to learn something from the Second World War in this respect. And the bombing there, even by Second World War bombs in Hamburg and Tokyo and in other cities, showed that shelters became centers for incinerating or asphyxiating the people who are in them. A fallout shelter in your basement will give adequate shielding from radioactive fallout. Ah, he's finally getting the message. Are you? A new housing development near Denver, Colorado shows the nation's first model homes with built-in fallout shelters. The room is designed with an atomic war in mind. But behind each eight-inch thick reinforced concrete wall, it may prove to be just what the harried housewife is looking for when life with the kids gets too hectic. You don't think that shelters are a deterrent to a nuclear war either? On the contrary, I believe that psychologically, they will push both us and the Russians into thinking more of having a war. There are some instances where you may be ahead of us. For example, in the development of your of the thrust.